now we actually know that those toxins, those um, uh, uh, industrial chemicals, hormone disruptors and things like that, one of the things they do, which hasn't been mentioned, is that they also scramble your genes. And that um, the only way to keep your genes and genome healthy is if you have a balanced ecology. So, in fact, the genetics of the fluid genome is like the most holistic genetics. But the, the scientific mainstream, you know, those people who have invested billions into genetic engineering haven't caught up to it. They're still, you know, fooled by this idea that there is genetic determinism. One gene determines one characters in like a, like a straightforward linear causal chain. Instead, you know, the whole thing is just everything is interconnected with everything else and you cannot separate out the environmental and genetic influences. And which is why they, they came unstuck. You know, the, the biotech industry is now failing rapidly. It's not only market rejection, it's that they've got a high failure rate and what they create is not stable. And for a long time, there was a big denial going on because they decided to keep this from the public. They won't, they won't mention it. But um, um, in 2001, the European Union, the European uh, Commission, you know, they passed a new rule uh, and that says, okay, you know, the companies have to submit data showing that this piece of DNA, this piece of new genetic material, they put into an organism like a maize plant or a cotton plant or whatever to make a new variety, that's got to be shown to be stable, that it's got to be in the same form, in the same place in the genome um, before we, they can be approved. So then um, government scientists from France started independently checking whether the company's story is correct. And in five out of five cases, they found it's com it's, it had rearranged themselves. This GM insert has rearranged themselves. It's no longer the same. Now this is very significant because there is no way that the genetic engineer in the laboratory can control where in the genome and in what form this foreign DNA lands. And according as to where it has landed, it gives a different variety with very different characteristics, especially as far as safety is concerned. So you could have unexpected allergens, you could have toxins arising that you didn't suspect before, all kinds of unexpected effects. So, you know, quality control is impossible. You know, people aren't stupid. They know exactly what's going on and people like myself and others are really independent scientists because a lot of us have been driven out of our academic institutions because we want to inform the public properly. And so this kind of thing is now well known and which is why the industry is failing fundamentally.